And so her answer, lifetime natural, yes. Do you see what she did with her head? Coach Greg, and I got another natty or not for you. And in today's video, it's about a woman and it's a hot woman. Very attractive, very good looking, but also very muscular. Just looking at her physique alone, it's very suspicious. But I'm going to go through the psychology of why I'm going to say right now, there's no way I believe that this girl is natural. And so we got good old Kenny Kale, who I met at the Mr. Olympia. And boy, this guy is tall. He approaches people with a microphone and a camera and asks them if they're natural or if they're not. And if you don't want to be on camera, you simply say to Kenny, I don't want to be on camera. I'm going to go now. And so by her allowing herself to be in that video, you know she wants the attention. She craves it. She likes it. Are you natural or not? She could simply say yes or no and move on. But what does she do? She milks it. She milking it. You know what I'm talking about. She's basically speaking a novel, giving a speech. What do you think? And so let's go through this video. Let's analyze your answers so that you can understand the psychology of how people answer certain questions so that you can know when someone's telling the truth or when they're lying. Are you natural or not? So I'm just been waiting for this question. So tell me, what do you waiting think? Waiting my entire life. I mean, she's likely in her mid-20s and she's just been sitting there waiting for this question. And so she's clearly thought about it. She's standing there and she knows she's suspicious. Why would she expect to be asked an ad or not question if she wasn't suspicious? She knows she's highly suspicious. And so what do you think she expects him to say? Of course she expects him to say, you're not natural. So tell me, what do you Waiting think? Waiting my entire life. Uh, well, yeah, no. Um, but... And so imagine he responds with, yeah, I think you're natural. I mean, why would I think you're not natural? I mean, look at you. You don't even look like you work out. It would be insulting at her level of development to assume she's natural. Imagine somebody with that kind of development on a female body and somebody saying, yep, I believe you're natural. I don't think you'd ever do anything in your entire life. Imagine what is wrong with you. Of course, we don't think you're natural. Why would he approach you? You think he's going up to the smallest people that don't even look like they work out and say, hey, are you natural or not? I want to compete. Do you compete? Not anymore, no. And so Kenny, he's trying to get more information. He wants to make an accurate assessment. He's like Coach Greg. He looks back at old photos. He asks questions. He digs deep. And so he says, oh, did you compete? Because if you competed, the pressure going to be that much more. You remember, you're dieting down, trying to retain muscle, and you're trying to look better than your opposition. And so if you take performance-enhancing drugs, of course, it's going to give you an advantage. So he's asking that because if she says yes, it's going to be even more likely that she's taking performance-enhancing drugs. And so what is her answer? So you used to. I used to five years ago in the amateur league in Europe. I used to five years ago in an amateur league. And so remember, this is not, are you taking anything right now? It's in this morning. It's, have you ever taken anything in your entire life? AK, are you a lifetime natural? My guess is no. Does it matter what I say? And so think of it. If she was actually natural, she would say, you know what? I respect the fact that you don't think I'm natural, but I'm actually natural. I have no reason to lie. And I can see why you think I'm not natural. I mean, I look at my own physique and I can't believe personally that I got to this level of development. 99.9% .9 of people that look like me, of course, they're not natural. I am in that rare breed. I was a freak. I was a gymnast as a teenager. I had unbelievable genetics. People will still believe what they will believe. And so she's convincing herself. No matter what I say, people will believe what I believe. So I may as well lie. I mean, what's the point? If I say that I'm natural, people won't believe me. If I say that I'm not natural, people are going to judge me and think that I'm a bad person. But what's your answer? My answer is that I'm natural. Lifetime natural? You're in the competing days? Yeah. And so her answer, I'm natural. Lifetime natural? Yes. Do you see what she did with her head? She had no control. She was thinking ahead. She's nervous. She's on film. And she's natural right now, probably, probably this week. Perhaps this week she didn't take anything, but personally, I believe that she would. She's going to a large fitness expo. All the best fitness bodies in the world are at the same place at the same time. And so I personally believe she's probably not even natural right now. But five years ago, Lifetime Natural, you got to convince me she took nothing. I mean, I was an amateur. I did it for fun. I still live for fun. And so who is she trying to convince right now? Oh, I competed five years ago, but it was just for fun. I mean, no one takes performance enhancing drugs for fun. No one's ever done that. No one takes drugs for fun. Only people who take drugs is for serious events. It's not for fun. It's not fun to take PDs. 
I beg to differ. It's a lot of fun. Now remember, do not take performance enhancing drugs unless of course it's legal and with advice and consent from your own doctor. It is not for people to just have a fun time and play with. There goes my fan. I live for the real passion of lifting weights. And so she currently just lifts for fun. She lifts for the real passion of lifting weights. For fun. I mean, I don't know if that's the only reason why we lift weights for your health, for fun, for vanity, for aesthetics, to feel good about yourself, to get stronger than last time, forget the pump. I don't care why you lift weights. Just lift the weights and do your cardio, be fit. I don't have a goal of getting bigger. Well, I wonder why you've already gotten so massive. You're already big. You are jacked. And so perhaps she doesn't want to get bigger, but perhaps she wants to get leaner. Remember, there are drugs that can help with both putting on size and for getting shredded. Foods, drugs that can allow you to eat more, burn off more calories, speed your metabolism, etc. Of course, everyone wants to always be lean, yeah. but I also know that it always comes down to how I eat. Like, that's the main thing. And so yeah, I'm natural. And so just the way she's standing, her posture, hands in her pockets, thumbs out, chest up high, clearly surgically enhanced, the grimace on the face, the feeling of power, the ego boost of having Kenny Kale approach her at the Mr. Olympia and say, are you natural or not? I mean, she's been waiting this for her entire life. And so do you really think that this girl, she just lifts for fun, that she has a physique like this that she doesn't really try. She just goes to the weight. She just shows up to the gym, does a couple sets, 10 to 15 reps, jokes around, has a good time, goes home and looks like this. Does anyone actually believe it? I mean, how many people for fun train and compete and travel across the world to go to the Mr. Olympia? Just for fun, I don't take it serious. I mean, look at her physique. It's phenomenal. It's way above average. It's extremely impressive. So impressive that Kenny Keo chose her out of all the thousands of people at the Olympia and asked her, are you natty or not? So tell me, what do you Waiting think? Waiting my entire life. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, no. Um, I know. Um... Do you compete? I mean, the fact that Kenny K.O. had to even pause and ask her if she ever competed, I wouldn't have had to ask you. I'm looking at the physique and I'm gonna say, no, I don't think you're natural. I mean, it's like having pocket aces. Are you going all in? Of course you are. You have pocket aces. You just look at this physique and you have to assume the girl's natural. Sure, there's a one in a thousand chance that she's not. Why would you guess that she's natural when there's a 99.9% .9 chance that she's not? And let's now play devil's advocate. Let's assume that she's actually natural that this was achieved 100% natural, that she just lives for fun and looks like this. What the heck is wrong with the rest of our genetics? She just trains for fun, plays around in the gym, shows up, looks like this from just eating a good diet and training for fun. What the heck is wrong with our parents' genetics that didn't allow us to get like this? I mean, look at her physique. And so imagine this is 100% natural. Pretend this is 100% natural. And imagine she took it serious. Now she's training seriously, not just for fun. She's natural and trained seriously. She would be an IFBB pro for sure while being 100% natural. Now add in some sprinkly dust, a few of these, a little bit of that. And what would she look like in two or three years? Imagine the physique. What on earth would she become? Because remember, there's a large difference between being natural and intense. And so if this is natural, imagine what she would look like. I personally think this is intense. I'm not saying she's on abusive doses. She sounds okay. She does not sound like she's on steroids. Remember, if you don't abuse them, sometimes people don't get a change in voice. If you're on lower doses, you're not doing abusive things, sometimes you have no difference in your voice and you look very feminine. She looks amazing. I'm not taking anything away from her. I'm not saying she didn't train hard. I'm not saying she doesn't look amazing. The only thing I'm saying is I personally don't believe this is natural. And so let me know in the comment section, do you think he's, he's natural? And so if you do want to train natural, you don't want to abuse anything. There are natural supplements that can help. For example, you can take G-Test. We have G-Shred. We also have GO2 Max for cardio, Acti Builder to help you build muscle. We have creatine and everything like that, of course, on my website. And don't forget, if you go to my website by clicking the link in the description, and you use code GREG, saves you 10% off. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algorithm. Don't forget to like one of those two videos. And of course, the Harder Than Last Time clothing line, the training books, the cookbooks, the circle diet book, all this on my website, coaching plans by me and my team, and the free diet and training program. Please head over there right now, code GREG, 10% off. And until next time, I am out.